Hi everybody. I just wanted to stop by and show you some flowers that I made. Um, last night I couldn't sleep and so um, I was watching some videos and um, now there's different ways to make these flowers and there's ladies out there that do their version of it. This just what I couldn't sleep with la or sleep last night and this is what I came up with. So I hope I don't step on nobody's toes because um, it's nothing but love. But I want to show you what I come up with. I'm going to call it a twisted rose. Um, and in fact, my dear friend Natalia does a version of a twisted rose. And she is my Nashka on there. So you got to go check out her rose. She makes a very beautiful rose. Um, so let me just share with you. And if you guys, anybody wants to know how to make them, um, let me know. So I'm going to start. I did not like the way the yellow ones came out too much. I think it's the material, but look. So there's my twisted rose. There's a yellow one. And this one, it kind of got away from me a little. Um, it, it's the material. I, I don't know. It won't let me do it right. And the same thing with this one. It, it kind of got away from me. But I thought I'd share it with you. I'm trying to make um, flowers for my lace book. Now, I like the solid. I don't like the printed version at all. Another thing I don't like is the lace one because you can't see the twists. Or, you know, yeah, the twisted rows. So, I don't like that one. And what I did was I got some of this material and I sprayed it with water and then I crinkled it in my hand and crinkled it and crinkled it so that I would get a crinkled version of it and I'm sorry it's falling out of my hand can you see that now these ones are my favorite not that one, but these ones came out really cool and they are my favorite they look more like a twisted rose so that's why I'm calling it a twisted rose I think it's so gorgeous and this one this one kinda got a little puffy but I think it gives a character so isn't that cool I love it and then I am going to share show you uh, now these flowers they're called berry buds but I did a big version of them and I'm gonna show you I have my flower book and if you can see them see their little berry buds they're really really cute and um, that's what it looks like when you um, make them and they're they're really small they're just little buds but um i wanted to show you my big version now this one got a little way from me um but um oh well it still came out cute so there's the little berry bud only it got a little flat on me And then this one's my favorite because it, it looks more like a bud. See? Now, the, the, the flowers, they're supposed to be a fluffy bud. And let me find it very, very quickly because I shut the page. Why did I do that? Sorry, I lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay, see, it's supposed to look something like that. Only the tip of it has a little, um, oh, there's a perfect version of it. See how it has the lip up on top? And you stuff the inside. It's almost like a Trisha flower, only hers are yo-yos that are stuffed, uh, and they don't have the center on the top. And um, I thought I would, like I said, just make a bigger version of what was um, in my book. So let me see if I can turn that to where you can see it a little bit better. So see, it's it's kind of like, um, and you're supposed to make them out of ribbon, uh, but I wanted to do it out of material. And so they're really cute. So they kind of look like they're just a little chunky. And what I did, I used these felt um, circles I just glued four of them, and uh, before sealing off my top of my rose, I just glued them in there, and that's how I got the body to be stuffed. Um, 
and then just you know put my center did my little bud so very cute like I said that one just came out a little bit bigger but I hope you enjoy looking at my little flowers that I made um, it was a lot of fun I'm doing my book and so I needed flowers to um, stick in my book I hope you enjoy them uh, thanks so much everybody hugs bye God bless